Maybe. There we go. Crank in the old hair. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today is a beautiful day up here in northern Wisconsin, but a different part of northern Wisconsin. Today we're out on the bay and uh, we are hoping to catch some fish. Now I'm not even going to lie to you guys, I may have already have caught some fish before I picked up this camera. Um, that is because John and I, I'm with John right back here from Mindac Outdoors, and we've been out here all week and the bite has been very tough. So. I am not in my boat today. We um, decided to hire ourselves a guide for the day um, because we've been struggling. No, we did not hire him, but we are out here with our good buddy, Cody S. You guys have seen him all spring long and he is going to be guiding us out here. Oh, just, aren't you? Just trying to, Nick. You wanna tell the folks at home, what are we gonna be doing to catch these fish up here today? Oh, we're gonna be tossing some cold water baits because this water is super clear and cold so hair jigs and jigging of plastic is kind of what you want to use this time of the year well you heard the man i'm gonna listen to him because uh this is his home water so he knows this place better than pretty much anybody i know so gonna be again throwing you know hair plastics stuff that you can work really really slow the water is like 15 foot clarity so it is extremely extremely clear so these fish are going to be spooking but we're basically going to be just side scanning all day marking fish and then drifting through them so i'm not going to waste too much more time i'm going to pick up the rod start fishing and uh yeah i'm excited should be a good time i'll give you another damn bro well of course Carbonate. <laughs> I know how the game works, Cody. Hey, you asked for it. I... Oh, no, I know. Just just so when you're like green light, I have one ready to go. Oh, that is good. So, Nick, what's with that first cast? For? There you go, brother. Fish on. You like a good one? Um, like net I don't think so. Maybe. Dude, Nick's violent today. I told you, dude. I was dude, feeling it. I'm, I'm, I'm. Did you, okay, let's just step on our lunch. Sorry. Right yeah, on. I need a net. Okay, I, let me I that net. Definitely need a net. Hey, net that thing. Yeah, Nick, that. Yeah, oh, net. Free home, giant brothers. Dude, bring them get, get on the front of the boat. <laughs> Not behind the boat. I'm trying, brother. Dude, you just got a giant. That's huge, <laughs> dude. I saw that. I'm like, dude, yeah, that's no. huge, bro. Well, well, well. Ah. Second fish of the day. The first one you guys did not see. Uh, it was actually first cast of the day. And uh, this one decided to hit second one of the day for me and it just happens to be the biggest one i've caught so far this year just in the spring run in general man all it took was just going out with cody i guess that's incredible but yeah super awesome thick fish we just got going i mean maybe half an hour in on the day and this one already hit we're marking fish so incredible way to start the day we're gonna go ahead probably grab some pictures bump this one it's probably like a 26 27 inch fish super fat super healthy and uh get back to fishing 26 inch fish now we thought this was a female it's a freaking i don't know if you can look at his little pooper there but uh he's milking this is like the biggest male i have ever caught i thought for sure this thing was a female but my god this is a very, very old fish. So we're gonna go ahead and not waste any time, get a release on this. Unbelievable. 26 inch male. I can only imagine when we catch a female how big that thing's gonna be. Man. Awesome, that's super, super clear water. You can see it, when we first hooked up, we didn't know how big it was until we actually, you know, saw the fish and uh, incredible. Real quick. I didn't tell you guys actually what I'm using today, but if I go down, show you guys. 
<laughs> uh, we're keeping it real simple. Mr. Guide in the front told me, cold water, you're gonna be wanting to throw a hair jig. Now this is something I've definitely just picked up this year. Haven't thrown it a lot before. It has definitely been working so far this year. Really slow, just, I mean, probably the easiest technique. Um, I can talk more about that on the GoPro when I actually cast, but using hair, catching fish, this is awesome. Cast away. Another walleye. It's a boat flipper. Oh, second walleye of the day for me. Definitely a smaller walleye than the first one, but you can tell another male milking like crazy. Conditions are uh, definitely switched. It is flat calm out here and overcast. And we are going around, going around, marking big schools and picking them off. Not that big. No net? But it's smoked it. Um, I mean, it's decent. It's definitely not a boat flipper. Okay, Cody's hooked up. Cranking the old hair. No. About the size of the hair. Not a giant, but just another nice walleye. John's on, baby. Yeah. Hey, doubles, John. Boys just doubled up while I was letting my fish go. My yes. fish, oh, John's fish. Boys. Let's go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we are definitely starting to get into some bigger schools. This is third water of the day for me. Cody has caught a couple in this spot. John just caught his first hair jig fish ever. And yeah, they're munching. There is a front that's going to be pushing through any minute now. So we're trying to just take advantage of the fishing while we got it but eventually we will have to cut this video short and head on in before that gets too nasty out here real quick talk to you guys kind of exactly what we're doing here obviously i told you we're using hair but let me step up to the front of the boat here quick got cody up here not very many of them and basically got his live scope set up in the front here along with some mapping and basically what we're going to be doing is just rolling around on these flats looking for some fish with the perspective mode now i am not a huge perspective grinder i am a live scope grinder but uh perspective mode i haven't really messed around with a whole lot but when you guys are on these like giant flats um, these fish can pretty much be anywhere so with the perspective mode it's really nice because scanning the whole front of the boat um, looking basically like if you were looking down on the bottom so you can see these fish exactly where they are and then we're just going around casting on top of them and uh, yeah just keep doing it until they bite that's kind of the method right now I'm going to see if I can pull out the camera when there's a mega school just to show you guys exactly what it looks like on the live imaging but other than that yeah that's it Still got a little bit of time, it looks like, before the storm rolls in. Hopefully we can catch a giant. I've seen that happen. Yeah. <laughs> Feel better or not? Uh, maybe a little better, but... Man, this is fun. I'm about the same as the other one. Yeah, maybe a little smaller. Just putting on a clinic though. 
Oh, that one was on the stinger. Another nice walleye. Just keep on sorting through. I already caught a 26, but I'm looking for a big old female. Big old water Next. heifer. Big old Next. female. Big old water heifer. Alrighty guys, well we got the motor started. The wind is starting to pick up here, so I think this is where we are going to end today's video. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, it was a grind. Every time I've come out here, uh, it's been a lot of work. First cast of the day I actually caught a fish. Uh, didn't have anything on recording yet and then about 30 minutes later I caught that 26 incher and then we probably went through a period of a couple hours where we did not catch anything really we weren't even marking anything then we decided to run over uh, a couple miles away and actually then started to mark fish calm down and then obviously we all got into them right at the end but that's kind of how it's going to be out here i have yet to really had a have a day where we just kind of found fish and stayed on them the entire time there's a lot of water out here a lot of flats and you definitely got to put in the time if you guys want to come out here and catch trophy fish so didn't catch anything of magnum size but still fun to get out here if you guys want to get out on green bay um you know for one you guys have to have a decent sized boat but if you don't want to haul a boat or do any of that, you guys should definitely go down in the description and check out Cody S Guide Service. This is the guy that I am out here with today who hey, guided me. He does guided fun. trips, uh, yep. not only on the Fox River, but he does do it on Green Bay as well. And uh, yeah, I will have all that linked down below. So if you guys want to come out, go fishing with Cody in his brand new, beautiful Nitro. I didn't show this off, but uh, yeah, this thing is beautiful and handles big water. Very big beautiful. boys. So again, yeah. if you guys want to check out Cody or John, he didn't film today, but if you guys want to check out any of their stuff, I'll leave it down below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead, put the camera away. We got a couple mile run. I think it's going to maybe get a little bumpy. So put the camera away. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Tight lines from NB Edits. Lines, tight lines, tight lines, tight lines from NBA. Yeah. <laughs>